Justin Herbert is him. Who? Him. Yes, him. The guy doing the most with the least in the NFL right now. This Chargers offense has suffered so many injuries, the most in the league by far, and Justin Herbert is still performing like a top five quarterback. And so I'm going to show you the film, both the good and the bad, because he himself is still injured. But while I do that, go ahead and like and subscribe to the Chargers LAFB YouTube channel for more of the best Chargers content on YouTube. Now, let's get into the film room. There's a lot going on on this play, so stick with me. Trey McKitty and Steven Anderson are lined up on the same side of the field. They're both tight ends, and they're both going to be going deep. Trey McKitty is going to be going outside and up. Steven Anderson just going to be going straight up. And this is cover two for the 49ers. So the safety, the deep safety, is going to have to pick somebody right here. And he picks Steven Anderson because that's who he sees and who he knows is going deep. And then you see behind him, Trey McKitty starts going deep as well. Justin Herbert sees this. He knows he has the anticipation to get rid of that thing and put it right on Trey McKitty, but he drops it. And then another thing that I like to see, check out Forrest Sorrell at the bottom of the screen against Nick Bosa, just a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Puts him in the dirt, dude. Oh, that is a pancake if I've ever seen one. I mean, so uh, it was such a roller coaster of emotions because it was a great play designed to get Trey McKitty wide open. Justin Herbert read it perfectly, maneuvered in the pocket well, and Forrest Sorrell got a freaking pancake on Nick Bosa. But Trey McKitty, butterfingers right there, just drops the ball. Come on, dude. It was almost perfect. Justin Herbert reads this play really well. We got a motion man right here, DeAndre Carter, with this guy, and they're going to be going down to the bottom of the screen. It creates confusion at the top of the play here because you got Dre Greenlaw thinking that he's matched up with the tight end Trey McKitty for some reason when really his matchup should be Austin Eckler. But check out how fast Justin Herbert is to understand that Austin Eckler is wide open because of a missed coverage by Dre Greenlaw who actually ended up hitting Justin Herbert on a dirty play later on in the game. But Justin Herbert throws that ball, makes him pay. He is so fast with it. And check out this offensive line play. Here's Forrest Sorrell against Nick Bosa. I mean, Justin Herbert throwing it to Austin Eckler. That's his last healthy skill position player left. Boom, right there. Great footwork. Sees the man coming, stands tall in the pocket. Talk about that pocket presence. Ball right on the money in stride to Austin Eckler. The Chargers were trying to chip Nick Bosa on basically every play. Gerald Everett at the top of the screen gets that chip on Nick Bosa. Play action pass. Nick Bosa realizes it, and now he's going to drop back into coverage. And Justin Herbert is going to loft this ball perfectly over to Gerald Everett. Boom, right there. But check this out. As Gerald Everett is catching it, Michael Bandy is one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker, Fred. Fred Warner, who is a great coverage linebacker, but right here, if he just holds this ball, stays disciplined, and looks to the middle of the field, he could have had more yardage and even a first down and possibly a little more after the catch right there, but still, good play by Justin Herbert. That's probably exactly how that play is drawn up because that edge defender most likely is coming forward, and then if Gerald Everett is out there wide open, you got a first down anyway. Check this out. Another chip block for Gerald Everett. He does his job. Boom! Right there. Nick Bosa down to the ground, and now you got a good, clean pocket for Justin Herbert. Right here, he sees, sees Gerald Everett in the curl. He does a little pump because he wants to throw it, but then he sees two guys start converging, so what is he going to do? He's going to start scrambling. Make something on your, on your own. Justin Herbert then throws the ball to Gerald Everett, perfectly thrown pass ends up getting even more yardage by just tucking that ball in check this out right here he tries to throw that ball fred warner starts to converge and so does the other guy on this side and then he just goes scrambles to his right gets the ball off before nick bosa and this defensive lineman in front of him can get a hand on him and check out the ball placement man it's so good. Two things about this play that stand out to me. The first thing is that what the Chargers love to do is pull Zion Johnson to this left side and basically have him act as a left tackle and have Jamari Sawyer act as a guard. Very interesting that they do this pretty often. And then they have this halfback out here as well for the pickup on uh, Aziz Al Shair, who's actually coming on this play. But check this out. DeAndre Carter is going to be wide open. Talanoa Hufunga is just standing still Feet completely planted at the 20-yard line as DeAndre Carter is just about to run right past him. And he's pointing to this safety on the other side of the field trying to pass him off. Uh, what are you doing, bro? You should be trying to cover him. Justin Herbert dots up DeAndre Carter in the end zone, puts that thing right in the breadbasket. Beautiful. Now look at this end zone view, man. Let's check out this pocket. Let's just, let me just play it in real speed for you. Zion Johnson pulling to the left side. 
Beautiful pocket. He has all the time in the world. Bang! Right on the money. And DeAndre Carter is hyped. Look at him looking right into the camera on Sunday Night Football. This is just good play design by Joe Lombardi, honestly. Josh Palmer in the slot right here. He's going to be going out and up on the sideline. And then you have DeAndre Carter going to the inside. And Michael Bandy also going to the inside with a little more depth right here. But check out because this is man coverage, it's going to create a lot of traffic right here that the cornerback has to go through, and he's not going to be able to get through it because Josh Palmer has got speed outside, and he is not having to go through any traffic at all like this cornerback is. And check out Justin Herbert with the anticipation right here is when he decides to uncork this ball, and Josh Palmer running free up the sideline. Check out the placement of it too. Boop! Right there. Beautiful. This one is really surprising to me. I'm sure no one saw this coming. Out of all of these Chargers players on the field right now, which one do you think I'm going to point out as having a great get-off? Number 73, Forrest Serrell. Check this out. Boom! All the way back. He is like a full step back in his get-off before anyone else is even moving. But Nick Bosa with the strong freaking hands just towing his man into Justin Herbert's lap. Justin Herbert feels that pressure coming. And you, you we already know. He's playing injured. He's got those hurt ribs. Doesn't get rid of it as much as he'd like to. He's not really able to step into that throw because he's feeling that pressure in his face. And Joey Bosa is probably telling him, hey, you don't want to get hit by him. Justin Herbert throws it to Josh Palmer. He barely gets a hand on it. It's behind him. That's a tough catch. And it's, it is a, it's a tough throw, okay? This is another throw that just shows great anticipation by Justin Herbert. But check out the top of the line right here. Trey McKitty chipping Nick Bosa because he demands so much attention. And he doesn't feel the nickel cornerback blitzing on the edge. So he is trailing on this play. And he's got a free rushing lane to Justin Herbert. And also look at the top of the screen. Josh Palmer, boom, right there. That defensive back flat-footed at the 20-yard line. Josh Palmer is running full speed ahead. Justin Herbert sees it. He knows he has got the anticipation to know that he should unleash this ball into the end zone and get that in the bread basket. And that's where it should be. But this guy is coming right in Justin's face pause and he feels it too you can see him shifting his weight you see this little sidestep check out his right foot as he's throwing this ball little sidestep right there that means he's shifting his weight maneuvering his weight away from the defender and that causes him to actually overthrow it usually you see a quarterback under throw that ball boom right there you see how it, it's just not exactly the footwork that you need he's got so much arm strength that he just overthrew it so really he could have gotten that throw off but it's just, oh man, it's like an inch off too. Oh, and even if Josh Palmer was just a little bit faster, but okay, that's on Justin Herbert. This is going to be a play action pass. Josh Palmer right here in the slot is just going to go right over the middle of the field while we got Austin Eckler and a little curl route. Those are going to be the reads that Justin Herbert has to make. And the man that he has to read is Fred Warner, the middle linebacker, the Mike linebacker on the Niners. He's a really good coverage linebacker. So what he does is he gets depth because he doesn't want the deeper man to win. Justin Herbert reads that. And then what does he do? Boom. Get it to Austin Eckler because he's wide open on the play and try to make something happen. Austin Eckler, Niners defense did really a great job of trying to keep everything in front of him. That's why it felt like Justin Herbert was just checking down every freaking play, man. This is just the throw of the night. Justin Herbert makes these insane plays like two or three times a game. Great get off again by Forrest Sorrell, the right tackle, as you get Trey McKitty to chip Nick Bosa at the bottom of the screen. But this is going to be DeAndre Carter right here in the slot, going deep over the middle of the field. Michael Bandy trying to go this way. And then you have Trey McKitty going up with Fred Warner. Or that's not, that's Teleno Hufunga on him. Fred Warner's over here with Austin Eckler. But check out the pocket maneuverability by Justin Herbert. And he throws the ball, get, almost getting hit behind simultaneously, gets rid of it. And check out the placement of it. DeAndre Carter in stride and almost gets all the way into the end zone. Now check out this end zone view. Justin Herbert, great footwork right there. Jamari Sawyer handling his man, by the way. Throws him to the dirt, but he gets up. Justin Herbert has to maneuver that way and throws it, gets rid of it. Feels that man coming behind him and he just puts it on the money. Oh, Two really big plays to DeAndre Carter in this game. Almost got into the end zone right here, but just a great throw by Justin Herbert. I mean, look at this in real time so you can see how athletic of a throw this is. Great footwork. Boom. 
Oh man. And just the angle he got that out on too. This one is just nobody's open. These receivers got to get some space. DeAndre Carter going deep here. At the top of the screen, you're going deep here as well. That's Josh Palmer, Michael Bandy going to the outside. None of these guys are going to get any sort of spacing. Justin Herbert is looking for a man every single which way. He starts maneuvering in the pocket. He sees Michael Bandy is open right here, but then Fred Warner sees it. He knows that Fred Warner is going to go and get depth on that, possibly pick it off. Justin Herbert's smart heads up play to just run this ball up, try to get a first down, get as much yardage as he can. This is that fourth down late in the game that they weren't able to convert. This is actually good play design. DeAndre Carter is going to go deep. Michael Bandy is going to be on a little whip route. And Trey McKitty is just going to go out in the flat. But you can see Justin Herbert reads this as Nick Bosa is coming. Oh, Trey McKitty actually probably should have chipped Nick Bosa there because you're going to see that Nick actually gets pressure. Great spin move. Zion Johnson tries to pick him up. But Justin Herbert doesn't like what he sees on this play because this guy is just going to go boop and tackle Trey McKitty in the open field because Trey is not going to uh, make a man miss. Nick Bosa is in his face anyway, so he starts looking to the other side. Josh Palmer is open right here, but he gets hit by that other edge defender as he throws this ball is off target and that was the fourth down that you had to have late in this game and then this is that interception man like the chargers fought hard they just didn't have the guys in this game to win they had so many backups i mean josh palmer is your number one receiver that and going into the year josh palmer was like your number four so that's the tape and as you can see nobody is trying to do more with less than justin herbert right now and he himself is injured and i'm not blaming any of those guys that are out there they are the backups for a reason this team has shown a ton of grit and they were in that game until the very end and you have been in this video until the very end so make sure to like and subscribe to the chargers lafb and you will get the best content for chargers on youtube thanks for watching